Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow. Good evening, everyone, and welcome here to My Town TV's presentation of Greenup County Musketeer Girls Basketball. Greenup County Musketeers welcome in the East Carter Lady Raiders today. This is a game that was played just about nine days ago on December 7th. East Carter came here to the greenhouse and defeated Greenup by a score of 55 to 36. Greenup County is 2-5 on the season, coming off a loss last night at Estill County, 46-33. They are looking for some scoring on their team as they have posted tallies this year so far of 33, 36, 20, 33, 22, 31, and 45 points in a win over West Carter. As I said, the Musketeers are 2-5 on the season. East Carter, uh, things are looking up for them this season. They're 4-2 under head coach Matthew Clark. They had a big win last weekend over district rival Morgan County. And they had a tough close loss at Raceland by six points this earlier uh, in the week. So uh, East Carter is led by Kinsley, Kinsley Rutledge, uh, averaging 15 points a game and 10 rebounds a game, and Savannah Adams averaging 12 points a game. Greenup County is led by Kennedy Spencer, sophomore point guard, and Katie Schaefer, the lone senior on the team. We'll take a break here and be right back and hear from head coach Casey Carver, the Greenup County Musketeers, here on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people.
Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. We're here with Casey Carver, the uh, coach of the Greenup County Musketeer girls basketball team, uh, coming into today's game against uh, the East Carter Lady Raiders, a team that uh, you just played uh, about nine or ten days ago. Uh, East Carter walked out of here with a 19-point win that day, 55-36. Um, how's the team been doing? I know you're coming back from a late night last night probably for the team in Estill County uh, where we lost uh, 46-33. So uh, how's it going, Casey? Um, you know, we're continuing to hang in there. Um, we had a nice long week of practice, which is something we hadn't um, got to have since the season has started uh, due to so many games back to back. But um, the girls are continuing to work hard and um, we're just hoping that today, you know, we played East Carter pretty tough last week until end of the third quarter. Um, mm-hmm. and we're just kind of hoping today we can put down four quarters together. So. Yeah, uh, the game last night at Estill, uh, do you think the team will have tired legs or anything coming back uh, so late last night? Is that a a concern of yours? I mean, you know, that could be an issue, but, um, you know, this is only our second game this week, so hopefully we're able to kind of bounce back and and do all right today. Yeah, I guess uh, they're young and stuff, so they can take it a lot better than, uh, you know, I could. (laughs) But... uh, uh, the East Carter team we're playing today. They're four and two. They're they're kind of on a roll really right now. They beat Morgan County last weekend, which is a big district opponent for them. Uh, East Carter, a really good team. It looks like with Kinsley Rutledge and uh, Savannah Adams, uh, you know, being their top two scorers. Uh, anything in particular we want to do? What's what's our keys to winning today against this East Carter team? We uh, we definitely have to do a better job of finding Adams. Um, you know, she hit several against us. She is coming off a big game against Morgan County last week. I think she had like 23 points or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, She's a pretty good shooter. Um, Mm -hmm. I think last time we played them, we just got tired and started making some lazy passes in um, during press break, and they Mm -hmm. will capitalize off that. They don't – they're aggressive and they don't slow down. So we're just going to have to make sure we're focused Mm -hmm. the whole game. Yeah, and I did see they played – you know, our all-important district opponent, pretty tough this week as well. Lost uh, 57-51, I think, at Raceland. So uh, it's a good challenge for us today. So good luck out there, Coach. Thank you. That was Greenup County head coach Casey Carver, her comments before this game against the East Carter Lady Raiders. As I said in the opening, the East Carter Lady Raiders are on an uptick right now. Big win over Morgan County. Last weekend where Savannah Adams starred in that one. Actually looking at the statistics of this East Carter Lady Raider team, Savannah Adams uh, having a good year so far, 12 points per game, shooting 41% from the field, 30% from the three-point line, and 62 from the stripe. Kensley Rutledge, of course, the other East Carter star, uh, averaging 15 a game and 10 big rebounds a game. So Rutledge averaging a double-double and Savannah Adams is uh, shooting some really good percentages so far this season. The good news for East Carter is all of these players return to the Raiders next season. Uh, Rutledge and Adams are juniors along with Scarlett Williams. And then they have a sophomore class with Tori Bishop, Avery Hall, Randa McGuire, and Abby Boggs, and Cadence Roberts. And the three freshmen on the team, Aubrey Mullins, Carly Mullins, and Rihanna Greer. This is a team where the future is bright once again in Grayson for girls basketball, a place where girls basketball has been a great tradition over time, especially back when head coach Hager Easterling was there leading uh, players like Kristen Mayo and uh, Haley Hall and uh, Haley Brainerd into action. Greenup County Musketeers, uh, they'll probably start tonight. Katie Schaefer, a senior, Shelby McCormick, 
uh, a junior, Bella Stiff, a junior, Kennedy Spencer, a sophomore, and Daria Crum, a sophomore. Coming off the bench for the Musketeers will be Maddie Steele, a sophomore, Addison Branham, a freshman, Leah Langley, a freshman, Haley Hall, a junior, Lexi Bays, a sophomore. So we'll take one more break here before this one gets underway. We're about a minute and a half till tip-off. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. In this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. It's tailgate time in the bluegrass. Uncle, Uncle Rick, Rick, what, what are, are you doing? doing? I'm getting ready to make my announcing debut. And I believe that's football time in the bluegrass. But you can believe this. Clark's has everything you need for a winning tailgate. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe, put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. I felt like I didn't matter at my past job, and Regroup helps me to feel like I am important and that I have meaning and purpose. If you really want to feel like you are important um, and feel like you want a home, um, some place that you can talk to anybody about anything, I think Regroup is the place for you to work. Like, we're a team and we're a family, and I feel just like I'm welcomed here and I'm loved here, and I feel like I matter here. back here at the greenhouse the Greenup County Musketeer girls basketball Musketeer starting lineup about to be announced there's Daria Crum sophomore guard Bella Stiff junior guard number 23 Kennedy Spencer she's a sophomore you'll see her 
handling the ball mostly tonight for the Greenup County Musketeers. Shelby McCormick, she is the stat stuffer, the rebounder and a charge taker extraordinaire, and uh, Katie Schaefer, the lone senior on the team. So the Greenup County Musketeers and the East Carter Lady Raiders getting ready to do battle here from the greenhouse. Eight minutes put on the clock. We're about ready to get things underway. East Carter four and two coming into this game. Greenup County two and five. It's, uh, the starters for East Carter tonight are Kinsley Rutledge, Savannah Adams, Tori Bishop, Avery Hall, and Abby Boggs. It's Rutledge jumping against Crum, and uh, East Carter controls the tip back to Adams. Adams, top of the key. Left side she goes to Boggs. Throws it cross court, knocked away by Spencer. Lost control. Spencer tries to get ahead to Crum. She does. Goes up. Uh, no call there. Uh, ball knocked away. Here comes East Carter. Avery Hall for three. No good. Rebound down on the ground to East Carter. Avery Hall has it out front. Number 21, Tori Bishop, out top to Adams on the right side. Gets it to Rutledge at the elbow. Swinging it around. Good ball movement so far from East Carter working against this Greenup County zone. Avery Hall for three. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds off of Greenup County. It'll stay with East Carter. Ball with the Lady Raiders underneath their own basket. It's Tory Bishop doing the inbounding duties for the Raiders. Gets it into Rutledge, knocked away. Hall picks it up and puts it in. Avery Hall for the first two of the game. 2-0, East Carter. Spencer up the floor to Stiff. Gets it to Crum on the right side. Crum drives the baseline. Kicks, tries to kick it out to McCormick, but uh, overshot her. Threw that ball into the East Carter bench. It's going to be... East Carter ball, and that's the first turnover of the night for the Musketeers. Here's Adams with the ball. Now front, right side to Bishop. Goes right there to the elbow to Rutledge. She puts it on the ground, and she will be fouled. Referee heads over. Looks like number... Not really sure, actually. The scoreboard's out in front of me here, and uh, there's no PA here tonight, so uh, it's East Carter's basketball underneath uh, their own rim. Oh no, the foul apparently was called against East Carter. The foul was called against East Carter, uh, so that was, well the referees are having a discussion now. Some confusion there. Well, that happens on big games, Ryan. Fast pace. Referee still having the discussion. I thought the foul clearly was on Greenup County, and it would be East Carter's basketball underneath the their own goal. Let's see if they get it all straightened out here. That was what kind of confused me. I was looking at the referee's hand when he walked over. He he whistled number, or he signaled number 35, I thought, and there was no 35 on Greenup County, but looks like he has corrected that now to perhaps 25. Maybe Shelby McCormick picks up the foul. So it's 2 0 East Carter. And Brian Barber has just joined me here. Well, uh, you know, Brian, I'm, glad to have you. Sometimes I've, I've refed some games before, and it's hard. Sometimes you'll, you'll call out a number and a color and just get it wrong on accident, you know, just a, just a brain fart. So it happens. Avery Hall at the Top of the key gives to Adams over to Bishop. Bishop down to Rutledge. Rutledge puts it on the ground. Loses the ball. Good steal by Dar Crum. And here come the Musketeers. I like that zone defense. They're packing it in and making these Carter work. Spencer over to Schaefer. Back to Spencer. Now front. Patient offense for the Greenup County Musketeers. 6-16 left here in the first quarter. 2-0 East Carter. Spencer over to Crum. Gets it to Schaefer. Schaefer puts it on the ground. Goes toward the basket and goes down, but she gets the foul call on East Carter. That'll go against number four, Avery Hall. That's her first. McCormick going to bring it in inbounds for the Musketeers underneath her own basket. Looking, gets it out to Crum. Crum for three. No good. Mm. Rebound down to Bishop. Here comes East Carter. 
That's okay. I'll take that shot every time. A wide open look, set up good. Had a good look at it. There's Adams in the corner. She'll bring it out top to set things up. Near the logo, Savannah Adams. Right side to Bishop. She'll throw up the 15-footer. No good. Rebound down to Crum. She gives it to Kennedy Spencer, and here come the Musketeers. Crum having a good game early, doing all the little things right. There's Stiff wheeling around the top of the key. Gives it to Crum. He's dribbling around to the right side. Gives it to Schaefer. She thought about pulling the trigger for three. She gives it to Stiff. She does pull the trigger, and she hits. Nice. Good ball movement right there. Good execution. You'd like to see that. That's how you do it. That was good. Schaefer passing up the uh, shot for a better shot for Bella Stiff, and it uh, worked out. Rutledge drives, puts it off the window, and in. 4-3, East Carter on top. We hate to score like that. Didn't give up one that easy on the other end. Schaefer throws a long looping pass. That's going to be a turnover as Avery Hall picks it off to Tory Bishop. Blocked away by Spencer. Schaefer comes up with it. Schaefer on the dribble. She pauses. Throws it cross court to Kennedy Spencer. And she comes over the timeline. Musketeers trailing 4-3 to three early in this one. Spencer goes to Crum on the baseline. Crum drives. Goes hard into the defender. I believe she's going to get the call mm -hmm. on uh, number 35. And it is number 35, Kinsley Rutledge, her uh, first foul of the game. Grim kind of looking a little better tonight. A little more quick on their feet. Playing a little bit better defense. Moving the ball around a little better. Our crumb goes to the line. First free throw is off the back iron and no good. See if she can get this one in there to get us a tie ball game at four here with 436 left in the first quarter. And she does. Nice job. Bishop bringing the ball up the floor for East Carter. Throws it on the right side to Adams. Ever dangerous, Savannah Adams. She throws a cross-court pass to Hall. Good ball movement by East Carter. Three-pointer for Boggs, no good. Rebound, though, to Avery Hall. Back out to Boggs. Abby Boggs goes to Savannah Adams to Boggs, top of the key. Knocked away. Oh. Stiff almost came up with it. Hmm. Adams, long three. Good. Savannah Adams. Oh, how about that range? She shot that from dad, dag on downtown Haverhill. Yeah, kind of featured her in the, uh, oh, that's just a straight over and back there. Dar Crum went over the timeline and threw it into the backcourt, trying to go to Katie Schaefer for the turnover. But what I was going to say, Savannah Adams kind of featured her in the pregame. She has really good percentages this year. 41% uh, from the field, 30 from three, and 62 from the line. So she's having a le legit season, 12 points per game for East Carter. And had a big game last weekend when they beat their district rival, Morgan County. Yeah, that's getting it done. Morgan County, a good team as well this year, both boys and girls. Uh, they're making some noise out there and have been in the last few years. But again, Graham County just got to got to keep playing their game tonight. Keep playing that zone, make make East Carter work for each shot. I mean, if you're gonna, if they, East Carter's gonna take a 28 footer every possession. I'll take that. Here we go. Here's Tory Bishop. Out top for East Carter, 3.53 and counting here in the first quarter. Bishop will try the long three as well. Miss it, Dar Crum almost had the rebound, but good hustle by Bishop to go get it. And that's a scrum for the basketball, and Schaefer comes out of there with it. Second rebound for Schaefer. There's Kennedy Spencer right at the timeline. Throws it right side to Stiff. Stiff looking inside. Schaefer posting up. She has position, and that's a reach-in foul on number four, Avery Hall. That'll be her second foul. Nice post move right there. That's what you want, get that ball inside of her, let her get a little turnaround jumper. She's deadly from right there. That prompts head coach Matthew Clark to get up and get Cadence Roberts, number 14, into the game for Avery Hall, who picked up her second foul. Hmm. Spencer into Crum, right corner, out top to Spencer. That's a good play. Hmm. Almost got Spencer open for three. Crum drives with the left hand, goes up, misses. Oh, wow. How about that? Left, drives left hand, shoots up with the right. Ooh, pretty move. Just didn't get the ball. Boggs over to Bishop in the corner. She's being trapped. Out to Boggs. To Adams. She thought about pulling the trigger from near the volleyball line. Well, she did, didn't she? Man. Adams, a player, I think, gaining confidence as the season goes on. Uh, we saw her just about nine days ago when mm -hmm. East Carter played here, and she had some big threes that game. Savannah Adams tries another three, misses that one. Schaefer rebounds, protecting it. Gets it to Spencer. 
Cross court to Stiff. Stiff to Crum in the corner, drives the baseline. Good pass underneath to McCormick for two. McCormick spice play right there. I'm telling you, that was pretty. Here comes East Carter back the other way. Uh, Rutledge, or no, that was Adams. Ran into a pack of bodies and uh, lost the ball. Schaefer comes up with it. And Musketeers have a chance to take the lead, Brian. I like it. They're playing, playing a lot better tonight. They look really good right now. Crum out to Spencer. Spencer drives. Left hand. Puts Blower, it up. And in almost oh. in there, but not quite. Tory Bishop comes down with the rebound. Brings it down the floor. Out top to Adams. We'll look things over and set things up for East Carter. Probably a wise move right there. Oh, they found Boggs wide open at the elbow, and she lays it in. Mm, that was too open. And no help down underneath for Graham County there either. Got to communicate a little bit better. 9-6 is our score. Here's Crum up the floor. She finds McCormick underneath. Goes through her hands, though, out of bounds. Had another wide open layup waiting Man. to happen. Hate to see that. Leah Langley checks into the game for Dar Crum. It looks like Addie Branham going to get up as well and come into the game for Shelby McCormick. 9-6, Raiders lead, and they have the ball, 137. Counting here in the first quarter. Savannah Adams with the basketball out top. On the right side to Boggs. Boggs puts down a couple dribbles. That's a shot that went up there from a new player in the game, number double zero, uh, Scarlett Williams. She missed, and here comes Greenup County with the ball. Langley, out top to Spencer. Thought about the three. Gives it to Schaefer. Schaefer drives. Kick that to the corner. She's open. Branham for three. No good. Rebound down to East Carter. Here comes Rutledge. Left side, number 14, throws a three up. It's over everything. Number 14 was Cadence Roberts. Adams comes up with it, gets it to Rutledge. Ooh. Lines up in Adams' hands again. And she works against Langley. They get it inside to Rutledge. She puts up a left-hand shot, and she's fouled. Foul go on Addie Branham, I do believe. Yep. Nope, nope, no, they're going to call it on Bella Stiff. Reaching in. Hmm. So it's Rutledge to the line for East Carter. She's good with the first one. She's a 57% free throw shooter on the season. Good form on that one. Looked really good. Second free throw is off the front. Branham gets the rebound, gives it to Spencer, and it's 10-6. East Carter in the lead. 39 seconds on the clock. Stith on the right side gets it to Schaefer, posting up. Working on Scarlett Williams, mm. misses the shot. Rebound down to Bishop. Bishop's out of there on the run with it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a new player in the game again, number 20. Oh. Who's wow. that three by there? Was that Rutledge? 35, yep. Rutledge hits the three. Got her feet set under and had her squared up to the basket and they let one go. And uh oh, there's a turnover. Things could be falling apart here quickly. Rutledge drives and Spencer commits the foul. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, tough way to end the quarter for Greenup County. Just nine seconds left in the first quarter, giving up the three-pointer to Rutledge, followed by the steal and the drive by Rutledge. Yeah, you're hanging in there. You're down by one. Then they get a point. You got a chance to take the lead at one point just two minutes ago, and just, you know, it's kind of slipping away a little bit. they got to take better care of the basketball and you know, work that offense around and get a good shot to possession. Rutledge is good on both free throws this time. 15 to 6, 9 seconds. Here comes Spencer, 8 seconds, 6 seconds. Got to have some urgency here. Do we know how much time's left? They Stiff. Don't. They don't. Gets it knocked away. They didn't seem to know how much time was left, so no shot. 15 6, uh, East Carter leads Greenup County after one. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. 
We're back here at the greenhouse where the East Carter Lady Raiders lead the Greenup County Lady Musketeers 15 to six after one quarter. And uh, Greenup was in that quarter all the way till the very end, Brian. Yeah, it was funny. We were talking during the break. It was a seven to six ball game just two and a half minutes ago. And, and uh, since that time, East Carter's really gone on a run, opened things up a little bit. Greenup County with the basketball. Dar Crum gives it to McCormick. Good, good give off by McCormick, but Crum misses the layup. Man, we just don't execute everything. Man, I tell you what, that was wide open. Look, you've got to make that one. Yeah, well executed play, though, right out of the gate. Sure was. Rutledge drives into a pack of people and loses control of it. East Carter's uh, coach, Matthew Clark, stands up and saves the possession, calling a 30 second timeout, so we'll just stay right here. Well, that was an emphatic timeout. I could hear that one. They could hear that one from all the way to Vanceburg. Timeout, timeout. <laughs> but, you know, each possession is key. And so, you know, that's the way some coaches are. You know, they value, you got to value each possession like that. And even though it's 15 to 6 and it's early and they got a pretty good lead right now, they, why not call a timeout and get a good look right here? See down below us here, the, the boys' opponent tonight. Uh, got a unique doubleheader tonight on my town. Uh, this game here, the Greenup County Musketeers girls team playing East Carter. And then we'll take a break for a short time while the boys' JV game is played. And we'll be back with you around 7.30 for the boys' uh, nightcap against the Rock Hill Redmond. This all Rock Hill file in down here to the left. Here we go. East Carter with the basketball out of the timeout. Let's see what they oh. dialed up. Uh, knocked out of bounds by Dar Crum. It's going to be East Carter's ball on the sideline. Here we go, number two in the ball game. I need to look her up on the roster. Don't have her I don't either. in her right now. Here's Rutledge out top for East Carter, working on Crum. Good matchup right there. Rutledge, crossover dribble. Throws it over to the Greenup County bench at Leah Langley with that one. I don't know, that's a weird looking turnover. Just threw it right out of bounds. Greenup County's ball, East Carter applying pressure. They were trying to get relative to the screen. Green kind of doing a good job switching off on that screen, and they throw the turnover. So good defense, Lady Musketeers. Good ball movement there right down the floor. Stiff passed up the three, though, for a step a side three. And Crum almost came up with the rebound, but I think she knocked it out of bounds. Going to be oh. East Carter's ball. Mm. Here come the Lady Raiders with the basketball. I'm working on one of the KHSA site and see if there's a number two on there. McCormick rebounds the shot from number two. Good rebound. Cross court to Spencer, finds Crum ahead. Crum wide open, lays it up and in. Good job by Dara Crum. Excellent job using her body right there to keep her balance. I mean, she took some contact right there, but still was able to power it up and lay it in. Good job, Crum. 15 to eight is the score. Rutledge with the ball out top with Crum guarding her. Rutledge drives the lane. That's going to be a foul likely on McCormick, number 25, probably or, reaching in. Or Crum. Yep, McCormick. Got McCormick with that one, her second. 5 fouls each quarter. First free throw for Rutledge is up and in. Rutledge is 3 for 4 so far on the night. I'm sorry, four for five. Having a good night at the line. She's a 57% free throw shooter coming into tonight. She will up that tonight for sure, especially making that one there. Second one's in as well. 17 to eight. Here come the Musketeers facing this East Carter pressure. Spencer lofts it down the floor to Crum. Crum picks up her dribble, gives it to Spencer out top. And she's dribbling on the Greenup County logo. Right side to Stiff. Mm. Thought about the three. Not to McCormick, to yeah, Crum. Good, yeah, good screen from Schaefer. Had, had, her, had her with a good, good look right there. Just didn't take it. And Spencer now will set things up for Greenup County. Spencer gets it across to Schaefer. Schaefer over to Spencer. Over to Stiff. 
Oh. And Rutledge takes it away. Rutledge going to go in and miss the layup. Rebound down to Boggs, I believe. She throws it up, misses. Rebound down to Crum. And Spencer comes out with it and gives it to Schaefer. Here come the Musketeers. What a battle over there for a rebound. Hmm. Spencer out top. Finds Stith across the court. Good look there. Stith takes a 10-footer. No good. Rebound down. Uh, it's going to be a jump ball. And the possession arrow points to East Carter. McCormick battling down there again. Good rebounder. Yeah, Shelby McCormick, uh, one of those stat-stuffing players, you know, not in the point column, but uh, all the other columns. Well, she's got a couple of points, a couple of fouls, and three rebounds. Here's Adams back in the game for East Carter. Adams moving the ball out on the far right side. Picks up her dribble out there and finds Boggs cross court out to Avery Hall. Hall goes right side to Bishop. Bishop, good baseline drive. Throws it down there, but Adams is already standing out of bounds. Yeah, I'm not sure what Adams is doing down there out of bounds, two or three feet on the other side of the line, the baseline there. I'm not sure if he was if he was pushed out on a screen or what. Well, Greenup County's basketball still facing the full court pressure of East Carter. Down 17 to 8. Spencer throws it up to Crum. Crum backs up. She's going to get trapped there. And Coach Casey Carver saves her with a timeout. Yeah, good timeout right there. She calls a 30-second timeout just to save the possession, just like East Carter did earlier. And let's see if she can come out of this timeout, as she actually did the last timeout, with a great drawn-up play that had a great open look for Crum, just couldn't get it to finish. But maybe we'll, we'll see something like that again out of the, coming out of this timeout. Yeah, that was a great job, like you said, out of the last timeout, getting that ball to McCormick, and she handed it off perfectly to Crum and just uh, couldn't execute the layup that time. Greenup County, this team has struggled to score all season long. I pointed out again in the opening that, you know, they've put up tallies of 33, 20, 33, 22, 31, you know. Right. You better have some really solid defense if you're going to win games putting up that many points. Exactly. You know, you're looking, looking to score right now. It's like, you're, you know, you hate to say this one's getting away from them, but, you know, the way they score, the points they score, you know, it, it, it's getting danger time. they got to get a, eat a bucket here bad. Very good point. Yeah, because obviously, as you just mentioned, this is not a team that's uh, built to come back from a, a big deficit. Here's Stith with the basketball, gets it to Spencer. Spencer and Schaefer, they camp out at the top, it seems like, most of the time. There's Crum on the right side, out to Spencer. Spencer on the dribble. Is it to Schaefer, wheeling it around the circle. Nice Finds cut. Crum, good cut. Almost could have oh. got the pass over to Branham. Could not do it, though. Adams with a steal ahead to Avery Hall. Lays it in. Good play by East Carter. 19 to 8. The lead is out to double figures now. Stith gets it to Spencer. Spencer cross court to Stith. To Schaefer. To Stith. Passed up to three. Takes it to the hole. And nice good. move. How about that? Good job by Bella Stith. Her fifth point. 19-10. Here's Rutledge through the middle. Branham swats that one out of bounds. Good block by Addie Branham. Excellent block right there. Good defense. Good guy playing good defense. Bishop inbounding the basketball for East Carter underneath her own goal. Gets it into Rutledge. She goes strong to the hole. Misses. Rebound to Stiff. Watch out behind you. Stiff gets it over to Schaefer. Back to Stiff. Over the timeline. Looking. Gets it to Spencer. Spencer drives, kicks it out to Crum. Oh, almost a good pass, but knocked away by Rutledge. Good steal by Kinsley Rutledge, but she misses the layup. Katie Schaefer rebounds, gets it to Crum. Good job, Katie Schaefer, getting back on defense like that, able to get the rebound. That's why you never give up. Spencer into Branham, turns. Good job by wow. Addie Branham, drop step. How about see, that? See a little more of that. That was pretty. 19 to 12. East Carter now with a seven-point lead. Got Carl Malone there on that one. Offside, Abby Boggs off the window. Wow. Oh. For three. I didn't hear her call that. <laughs> 22 to 12. That's a big one, like you said. So with a low-scoring team like Green, if you, bank, you start banking threes in, it's your night. You're right. Dangerous pass, and it goes off the front. Like. No. I'm going to say uh -huh. it went off of Rutledge. Kensley Rutledge. We'll take it. Into the game now, number 50, Aubrey Mullins. And number 23, 
East Carter's playing some new players. Uh, let me look on the KHSA roster number 23, Allison Felty, an eighth grader. Felty, okay. Here we go, Crum on the baseline working against the eighth grader, and Allison Felty picks up a foul. So she's in the in the stat column That's immediately. Right. I did find out. Number two who was in the game for East Carter shortly ago is Carly Rutledge, an eighth grader as well. Okay. Probably right. Kinsley's sister, I would guess. Here we go. Spencer drives in, loses the ball, doesn't really go after it. Schaefer comes up with it, and she's mm. surrounded on the floor. Jump ball. It's going to go to Greenham. A little lackadaisical play right there. Got to play with some more urgency. 226. Left here in the second quarter. Green up down 10. Schaefer on the right side out to Spencer to Crum. Crum back over to Spencer oh, and made a few off to that one out of bounds. Yeah. Seven turnovers now. That's That's Maddie Steele into the game for Bella Stiff. Maddie Steele's first appearance in the game here with 219 left in the first half. Maddie Steele is strong, good defender, good rebounder. Bishop over on the left side to Boggs. Boggs, good drive to the hole. And one. Wow. Abby Boggs. Foul is on number 30. I believe is on Maddie Steele, actually. So came into the game immediately, picked up a foul. Abby Boggs with a chance for her. Uh, well, three, five, seven, eighth point of the half. She misses the free throw, though. Steele rebounds. And they're going to call a foul back here on Savannah Adams in the backcourt. That's Adams' first foul of the game. Tiki tack foul, but again, nonetheless, a foul. 24-12, Greenup County. You'd like to see them get this lead under 10 before the uh, first half expires. Yeah, like that would be a good milestone for them to set right now. Spencer over to Schaefer. Schaefer throws it down the court to Crum. Crum drives. Kicks it out to Branham. She'll launch the three. No Ooh. good. Rebound down to Savannah Adams. Not a bad looking shot there from Addie Branham. No, I mean, she squared up nice. The ball, he shot it straight as an arrow and kicked right back to her. Or towards her. Corner three for eighth grader, I believe. Number 23, Allison Felty. Yeah. Good looking stroke. 27 12. These Carters open this out to a 15 point advantage now. Here's Crum. Need to answer that three. She's going to try. She misses. Rebound to Branham. Branham goes up. Misses. Rebound to Steele. Misses. Rebound down to East Carter. Here's Bishop out of there with it. 116 left in the first quarter. Bishop on the run. Bishop takes it all the way to the hole and lays it up and in. I hate to see that. A little hesitation move right there. Kind of caught Branham out, you know, away from the ball and just right by her and scored. Like the Red Sea, it just parted for her. Yep. So 29 to 12, it's a full time out. 108 left here in the first half from the greenhouse. East Carter in the lead. We'll be right back on My Town TV. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606 324 7181 to schedule an appointment. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. We're back here at the greenhouse where the East Carter Lady Raiders have opened up a pretty big lead over the Greenham County Lady Musketeers, 29 to 12, 108 left in the first half. Yeah, and just like that, they've done it with uh, just you know playing good basketball, solid fundamentals, good rebounding, good passing, taking good shots. As I said before the game, East Carter on a positive trend right now with that big district win over Morgan County last weekend. So you can mm -hmm. tell their confidence is lifting. Oh, for sure. And there's another turnover. Random throws that one into the fans over here. 104 left in the first half, and here's. East Carter, here's Carly Rutledge with the basketball out front. Rutledge on the dribble. She likes, oh. looks like she likes that right hand, and Crum took advantage of it. 
Crump comes up with it. Gets it to Schaefer. Barely Ooh. almost made it. Almost went to the back corner. There you go. Ran him. Three-pointer left side. No good. Off the back iron again. Rebound down to East Carter. Number 14. That's Cadence Roberts. Roberts going to drive. Take it to the hole and going to get the foul call. Little bailout call that time. Yeah, for sure. Foul call is going to go against uh, Matty Steele, I believe. Yeah, that has to be against Steele, I would yeah. think. Uh, let's see. Referee consulting with the, the other officials. Nope. I'm going to call it against uh, Katie Schaefer. Hmm. No, that one's out of left field. But that's all right. Number 14 at the line, and she had good form. Cadence Roberts puts that one up and through the net to make it 30-12. to 12. Second free throw from Roberts. Good. 2-2. Hmm. 2-2, two, two. Two, two, 31-12. Here comes Greenup County. Crum down the floor, takes it to the hole. Off the window, no good. Rebound down to Steele. Steele tries to find Branham, but she finds the East Carter coach instead. 31-12, East Carter's ball. 26 seconds left in this one, and East Carter will probably go for one. Yeah, I would think so. With 24 seconds left, yeah, you did definitely. Here's Carly Rutledge slowly walking the ball up the floor. On the right side to Bishop. Nope, no, I'm sorry, that's number 20. Oh. Number 20 for East Carter. East Carter playing a lot of young players this game. Uh, they've got uh, Rutledge with the basketball. Five second call five seconds. Carly Rutledge. So five seconds is the call, and there's five seconds left exactly here in the first half. Greenup <laughs> County better get this ball and chuck it up. Yep. Spencer with it. Spencer gets it. Spencer going to drive, throw it up. No goal oh, man. off the rim at the buzzer. So after one half of play, the East Carter Lady Raiders lead the Greenup County Lady Musketeers 31-12. to We'll be right back with the SOMC Halftime Show. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years. And I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. We're back here on My Town TV at the Greenhouse in Lloyd, Kentucky, Greenup County High School, where the Greenup County Musketeer girls trail the East Carter Lady Raiders by a score of 31 to 12 at the half. <laughs> well, you know, the game again, Greenup County just, you know, that's their MO this season. They can't score. You know, they they had this you know, to a one point game at one time, seven to six, like four or five minutes into the first quarter and just couldn't couldn't continue to hang with them. You know, they just they can't get shots to fall. It just you know, some of that's just, you know, the bad shooting percentage. you got to blame it on that. But, yeah. again, they've taken some pretty good shots in the second half. We've seen a couple, 
couple threes that just were right there on, you know, that should have maybe could have gone in just an inch away or whatever. But, you know, you got you to make some of these shots. You got to get some shots to fall. Yeah, the, the shooting woes of Greenup County, I, they don't have their statistics in on the KHSAA side, or I would give you some three right, shooting yeah, percentages. But we can tell from the, the uh, like the score totals they put up this year, they, they're not the greatest shooters on the team. Right, know. right. You know, again, they, they only won three, you know, from Stith early in the first mm-hmm. quarter. And that's been, that's been all three point shooting we've seen from Lady Musketeers. We've seen a bunch miss, but you know, again, a lot of those misses weren't bad shots. You know, they were, they were open looks, and good looks, good screens, or they're not running off. It's too bad. They just got to convert. Yeah, you make a real good point there. It doesn't seem like this game has been just a turnover fiasco. You know, it hasn't right. been a turnover fest where right. East Carter has pressed has the whole time. But they've got the ball down the floor and wound up getting some shots, but uh, they just got to work on getting those to fall, as you said. You're right. Good good point to turnovers. You know, this, this Greenham County team, we've seen them in the past. They're prone to turnovers, and tonight they've taken pretty good care of the ball. Only uh, eight turnovers in the first half. That's not too, too bad for for high school. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I'd take that. Yeah, we've seen worse. They sure have. And East Carter only four turnovers, but that was uh, – that's my unofficial stats for East Carter. I think they may have they may have another turnover, one or two more than that. I'm not really sure yet because Greenwood County, they 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 your defense was there just at times. You know they just that one quick you know one one second lapse that kills them. You know they just kind of just have that brain fart there, and, and next thing you know it's a three pointer in, and you're 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 down you know, you're down double digits at half. And that's what we've seen here from East Carter in the first half. They've had several girls step up. Uh, you know, Cadence Roberts uh, stepped up and had a couple free throws. Oh, yeah. Abby Boggs has come up with seven points in the first half. And the eighth grader, Allison Felty, came in and uh, hit a three. Yeah, how about that? That's a good-looking player right there. That was a good-looking shot, good form. And she's going to be, a, she's gonna be a, a, a player to be dealt with down the road for sure. So with that, we're about seven minutes uh, until starting the second half. We'll take another break here on the SOMC Halftime Show. Be right back, give you some uh, statistics from the first half and uh, get you ready for the second half here from the greenhouse in this girls basketball game against uh, the, with the Greenup County Musketeers going against the East Carter Lady Raiders trailing 31 to 12 at the half. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. In this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. here at the greenhouse where East Carter leads this one 31 to 12 over the Greenup County Musketeers going over some first half stats for Greenup County uh, I don't have to have gotten an A in math to be able to figure out the 12 that's points right, in that's right that's right 12 points and we can add them up Bella Stiff had five Dar Crum had three Addie Branham with two on I must say a very good drop step on the post move from Addie Boy, Branham. that was beautiful yeah and uh, Shelby McCormick with two on the good pass from Dar Crum. East Carter, on the other hand, uh, they Kinsley Rutledge led the way with 10 points. 
Abby Boggs had seven. Avery Hall with four. Allison Felty, the eighth grader, came in with three. Savannah Adams, the, the good shooting junior, uh, she only had three in the first half, but uh, her contributions really weren't needed that much in the first half. Uh, Tori Bishop had two, and Cadence Roberts had two free throws to tally the 31 points for East Carter. So, Ryan, what do you think Greenham County needs to do to get back into this ball game here in the second half? Down 19 at the half. Uh, Musketeers, uh, you know, looking to find some life really on offense. Well, it sounds cliche, but you know they, they've got to just take care of the basketball and just and keep, you know, keep plugging away. You know, keep when you get an open look, take that shot, take that three feet you're open, open. You know, and eventually they're going to fall. You know, the shooters are going to shoot themselves out of a slump every time. Um, I, I look for Crun maybe get get more of a, a three point, couple three point looks. He didn't really, I don't, I don't remember her shooting a three in the first half. Um, uh, Stiff, meanwhile, has Greenham County's only three in the first half. So if they can get a couple threes to fall early and knock this thing down at uh, eight, nine points at the, at the uh, you know, end of the quarter, you know, they're right there with a chance to maybe even make something happen. Who knows? I mean, it's, yeah, is it a tall task? Sure, it's a tall task. But then again, you know, you, it's, it's a game of basketball. It's a game. If you can get, get hot at the right time, you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one important statistic in the first half, the two players that, again, I highlighted pregame, uh, showing you how much I know, I guess. I would assume these are the two leading scorers for Greenup County based on watching them play this season. Again, we have no official stats on the KHSAA site. But uh, Kennedy Spencer, the sophomore guard, and Katie Schaefer, number two, the senior guard, uh, mm -hmm. they're scoreless in the first half. And that's a big deal when you have your two uh, presumably top scorers held scoreless in the first half. Exactly. I mean, you know, especially as well as Schaefer rebounds the ball offensively and defensively. She's prone to get a lot of the offensive rebounds and putbacks, and you know, we haven't seen a putback tonight uh, from her, and, and it's kind of odd. You're right, just a couple fouls, and she does have four rebounds uh, in the first half, but, uh, you know, you got you to you gotta put, put the ball in the hoop. You know, that's, I, think, I think she's going to look for her shot second half. But we got to have some points out of her and Spencer. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I, I honestly can't recall a three-pointer that either player took in the first half. I can't either. I yeah. can't either. So hopefully they get going here in the second half. 31 to 12, East Carter is in the lead. We'll take one more break here before we begin the second half. We're about two minutes away from starting second half action here on My Town TV. Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall in the blue dress, days at the track, Nats on the 50 yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe. Put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. Something that made me want to work with Regroup was um, the relationships that I have with my colleagues. My leadership and my supervisors are always the first ones to be able to um, help me with anything and I love being able to be entrusted with the responsibilities that I have. But know that if I have problems that I'm able to go to either my fellow clinicians or colleagues or um, my leadership team to help me with any kind of problem. Welcome back here to the greenhouse where we're about ready to get second half action underway. The East Carter Lady Raiders lead Greenup County 31 to 12 at the half. East Carter will have the ball first, unfortunately. Looks like both teams have their starters on the floor to start the second half. It's Bishop, Adams, Boggs, Hall, and Rutledge for East Carter. 
Stith, Spencer, McCormick, Schaefer, and Crum for Greenham. Adams out top, gets it to Rutledge. Rutledge turns, takes a 10-footer, no good. Rebound down to Crum, to Spencer. Cross the court to Schaefer, and here comes Greenham. Over the timeline, Schaefer to Spencer. Dribbling the ball to the right side, gets it to Crum in the corner to Schaefer. Schaefer Ooh. thought about it, drove, kicks it out to Crum. Crum, spin move out to Schaefer. She'll take the three, first three of the game for Schaefer. Misses that one, stiff rebounds, puts it up. Get no good. There. Rebound down to East Carter, and Stiff right. reaches in. I don't know who the foul is going to be on. Could be Crum. It looks like it's going to be on Stiff. I like that though. Come out a little more aggressive. No doubt the Greenup County offense does need some more aggression, some more willingness to put those shots up, just like Schaefer. I mean, she put that up, missed it, but Greenup County got the rebound and had a good opportunity right. with Stiff. That's right. It's like they hurt us at halftime. Get her some looks. Here's Adams out to Hall. Hall, good pass underneath for Rutledge for, oh, missed the layup. Rebound to Crum. But a nice pass that time from uh, Avery Hall. Stiff oh, walked in the backcourt. Yeah. Turnover. Oh. Yeah, number nine for the night. First one this half, of course. But that was a great pass, that last possession for East Carter. I mean, you know, Rutledge didn't even put the ball on the floor. Just laid it up and just couldn't get that one to fall. Here's Savannah Adams out top. Adams gives it off to Hall. Goes on the right side to Abby Boggs. Out to Rutledge. Rutledge drives, loses control of it. Gets it out to Adams. Adams turns and fires the three. Good, confident-looking shooter, Man. Savannah Adams. Nice range, too. 34-12. Schaefer on the near side. Or Greenup. Moving it to the right side. Tried a backdoor cut. Got deflected. Crum out to Stiff, open three. There it Good. is. There it is. Her second three tonight. That was a pretty stroke. She's had a nice looking stroke for South Pole. She does. Bella Stiff, one of the best shooters on the team, if not the best shooter. Adams, good drive, good cross court pass uh, for the open three. That was uh, Bog. She misses it. Stiff rebound. Stiff out of there on the dribble with it. Stiff going to slow up, get it knocked away, mm. and stolen. A little too carried away right there, a little too excited. Adams with the ball out top for East Carter. Good look away. Almost a step back shot. There's Bishop for three. Right corner, no good. Rebound to Boggs, and she's fouled by Shelby McCormick. Uh, McCormick's third. McCormick had that underneath spot, but the ball just kind of bounced over her head right there. Just bad bounce. Boggs will go to the line for two free throws. First one is off the front right side, no good. I got them a seven of, seven of 10 right now from the foul line. They're not so far tonight. Green County just wanted two. Not a bad percentage for the Lady Raiders. Second one's no good, rebound to McCormick. Gets it to Schaefer, ahead to Stiff. There we go. Stiff, good pass ahead to Crum. Crum can't handle it. Oh, man. And Rutledge went up top and uh, came down on Dark Crum. Oh, he's, you know, we'll that hurt. She's all right down she, there. She went down with some weight on her. So uh, let's just take a break here. 34 15, 541 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Something that made me want to work with Regroup was um, the relationships that I have with my colleagues. My leadership and my supervisors are always the first ones to be able to um, help me with anything and I love being able to be entrusted with the responsibilities that I have. But know that if I have problems that I'm able to go to either my fellow clinicians or colleagues or um, my leadership team to help me with any kind of problem. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or you know, several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. 
We're back here at Greenham County High School. Daria Crum got up and walked off the court uh, under her own power. Yeah, that was a good thing to see. She took a pretty good fall right there, had some weight on her too. That was tough. I was really worried right there. McCormick uh, inbound to the basketball. East Carter knocked it out of bounds. McCormick will try it again. 541 left in the third quarter. Schaefer on the far side to Spencer out to Stith. She oh. bobbles it and Boggs is there right away to take that one coast to coast for the layup. Good awareness from Boggs right there. He just seen it. He smelled that one coming. 36-15. Here comes Greenup County. Schaefer on the far side out to Spencer. Spencer launches a 22-footer. No good. Oh. Rebound down to McCormick. How about She's McCormick battling, getting fouled? Yeah, good, call jump ball, but a good battle. Yeah, good job by Shelby McCormick. Savannah Adams in on the tie up there. 36 15, East Carter. McCormick under her own basket. Looking, looking, gets it to Schaefer. Nice bounce pass. Schaefer stumbles to the ground and throws it out front to Spencer. Wow. To Schaefer, 17 footer. No good. Mm. Rebound down to Rutledge. Oh, nope, goes to her legs there to Stith. She'll take a 17-footer on the other side, miss everything. Rebound to Spencer. She throws it up. No good. Rebound McCormick tied again. up again. Yeah. Man, she's battling down there. Just can't get a break. Another tie-up. This one will be with Abby Boggs, and this one will go to East Carter. So East Carter with the 21-point lead, 450 left here in the third quarter. Savannah Adams brings the ball over the timeline, working on Leah Langley. Graham County not playing that bad this half at all. You know, to break the press every time. Rutledge to Adams. Adams launches the three. No good off the back iron, but boy, that was right on target. Spencer rebounds the ball. Schaefer has it back to Spencer, and here come the Musketeers again. Long pass up to Langley. To Stith. Up to Langley. Got to attack that hit Stith immediately right, there. Right, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Got to be more aggressive. Out top to Schaefer. Schaefer to Spencer. Spencer drives, kicks it out to Stiff. Three-pointer, no good. Oh. Rebound knocked around off of uh, East yeah. Carter's foot. Yeah. McCormick will inbound it for the Musketeers. Gets it into Schaefer. Good pass from Shelby about McCormick that? to Katie Schaefer for two. Comes Bishop, Tory Bishop kicks it out to Boggs for three. No good. Rebound down to Bishop, and good job by Tory Bishop. Man, I hate to see that happen. I guess that would be called no boxing out there. <laughs> right. Schaefer goes coast to coast and wheels it out here near the midcourt line where Bella Stiff. Runs it down, gives it to Katie Schaefer on the left side. She drives, puts it off the glass. Oh, what a pretty move. A little floater off the glass. Man, beautiful move. Well, you got to wonder when you see that, where has that been all game? Exactly. I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, if you have the ability to do that, you got to show it a little more often. 38-19. Boggs drives the lane for East Carter. Ooh. Rutledge comes up with it. She drives to the basket, throws it up. No good. Rebound to Schaefer. Schaefer throws a long pass to Langley. Got away with that one. It's a dispenser out to Langley. To Schaefer on the right side. 2.53 and counting here in the third quarter. Stiff for three. No good. Mm. Air ball. Almost rebounded to McCormick, but I think the little air ball caught her there. Right, yeah. You don't expect that. Right, those are hard rebounds. Rutledge kicks it out to Adams. Adams drives to Rutledge. Rutledge drives to the basket, Ooh. charges over McCormick. Good job by Shelby McCormick taking that charge. I think the foul was on somebody else. Boy, she did take that. She was sitting. She was. They shouldn't. Come, hope they don't call it on her. Wow. A fourth foul on Shelby McCormick. But well, they did. Good job, really, by Shelby McCormick standing there. I mean, hang on. Like a statue. Yeah, you couldn't get. Him, couldn't have been any more set than that. I don't know what. I don't think she was too far into the basket either, but anyway, oh well. Branham and uh, Crum back into the game. Good to see Dar Crum back into the game for the Musketeers. Long three from Avery Hall, and it's nothing but net. <laughs> Avery Hall three-pointer, and uh, East Carter wants a timeout, leading 41-19. to 
to 19. Let's see if it's a full. It is a full timeout, so we'll take a break here with 2.27 remaining in the third quarter. East Carter, 41, Greenup County, 19. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Finally, all your favorite holiday songs about impaired driving in one place. Introducing the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Holiday Collection. Here's what you get. Silent Night in Jail. Here comes Johnny Law. The 12 Days of Jail Time. Go tell it in a courtroom. Joy to the world. You plan to ride. A way to make danger. Oh, drive all ye sober. And many more. Act now to get this amazing collection. But more importantly, get a ride. Even if you think you're only a little buzzed. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal. We're back here in Lloyd, Kentucky, Greenup County High School, where the East Carter Lady Raiders are leading 41 to 19. A rematch of a game that occurred nine days ago right here on this same court. East Carter won that one 55-36. Won that one by 19. They lead this one by 21. Yeah, and again, they've been outscored 10 to 7 this quarter, but they've played a lot better basketball. They've they've executed well. They just man, they they have <laughs> just not got any breaks at all. Greenup County facing the full court press of East Carter. Dark Crumb with it in the back court takes a dribble, sends it up the sideline and out of bounds. Kennedy Spencer could not retrieve it. That's my bad. I jinxed him. <laughs> East Carter with the ball. Savannah Adams out front for the Raiders. Moves it to the side, gives it to Hall, to Boggs. Boggs. That's kind Ooh, of big, big carry. dribble. Yep, carried that one. Turnover, Lady Raiders. Oh, their second of this half. Schaefer and Spencer. Spencer up ahead to Crum. Crum on there down to Langley. One more pass. Good job to Branham. Lays it in. That's how you do it, girls. Beautiful job. Addie Branham's fourth point of the night. 41-21. Adams handling the ball out front for East Carter. Drives. Kicks it out to Boggs. Gets it to Rutledge. Rutledge drives the paint. Puts it up. No good off the back iron. Branham rebounds. Gets it to Spencer, and here come the, the Musketeers. Spencer, long looping pass ahead to Langley. Langley down on the baseline, back to Spencer. Thought about the three. Sends it out to Crum. She's open from 17 feet straight away. Good. Good jump shot. With that, Greenup has scored 11 points this quarter, and that nearly matched the first half total. Yep, you're right. They're playing good basketball this quarter. Rutledge turns the corner, drives, Schaefer blocks it. Oh, man. But it's going to be a foul call on KD Schaefer, her second. That'll send Rutledge to the line for two free throws, and the first free throw is good. She is improving her free throw percentage this evening. As I said, came in 57% on the year. Now she's six of seven on the night. As mass substitutions are made for East Carter. They play a lot of girls in the first half. Second free throw good. 42-23, hmm. Raiders lead. Here's Crum on the right side. To Branham from 15 feet, no good. Rebound hmm. down to Rutledge. Okay, I like that shot. Rutledge drives all the way. Got to step up and stop her. Rebound down to, well, Rutledge comes back and gets it. Good hustle by Kinsley Rutledge. Williams comes up with it. Misses. Rebound to East Carter again. Schaefer knocks it away. Crum comes up with it in the corner. Ahead to Langley. Langley looking, looking, and find Schaefer. To Spencer on the right side. Spencer drives the lane. Left-hand scoop shot. No good. Oh. Rebound down to Rutledge. Rutledge, here she comes out of there again. She likes to go coast to coast with it. Good pass from Kinsley Rutledge over to Cadence Roberts that time for two. Yeah, that was pretty. 44-23, Raiders back on top by 21. Spencer on the right side gets a screen from Branham. Is it out to Schaefer? Schaefer thought about pulling the trigger, I think, but 
Thanks better of it. Throws up a running like that at the buzzer. 15 putter at the buzzer. Good job by Katie Schaefer, her sixth point of the quarter. Gets Greenup within 19 at the end of the third quarter. After three here from Greenup County, it's East Carter 44, Greenup County 25. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines, such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. here at Greenup County High School, Lloyd, Kentucky on My Town TV. First game of a doubleheader. The second game will be played at 7.30 this evening between the Greenup County boys and Rock Hill, Ohio boys. East Carter leads this from 44-25. Stith brings it into Spencer, and we're underway in the fourth quarter. Crum tries a three to get things started. Good nice. from Dar Crum. Three points. 44-28. Running We're eight the, points for Crum. Running the point now is Carly Rutledge. Oh, oh, that's a walk. Walk, yeah, there we go. Scarlett Williams got caught up uh, in a pack of people there and walked. It'll be Greenup County's ball, 44-28. Need a few more threes like that from Crum. Well, look good. Oh, good back cut by Crum. Looks like they know what they're doing here now. Spencer throws it up for oh, long man. range, no good. Rebound and good kicks out of bounds. She's, as we've said this season, every time we've done a Greenup girls game, she's putting those up a step too far back. Yeah, hey, like. you're right, that's funny. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we've, we've noticed that all season long with Spencer in the games we've covered. Right, and she has good form and, and, and a good looking shot. Yes. Williams uh, out top to, let's see, that's. Oh. oh knocked away. Uh, Ooh. Scarlett Williams takes a 15-footer, uh, no good, out of bounds, and it's going to be Greenham's ball, but the referee on the sideline says it was tipped, so it'll stay with East Carter. Mm. Oh, Williams got away with a little shuffle step right there before that drive. East Carter inbounds the ball. Gets it into the post player. Uh, that's a miss for number 50, Aubrey Mullins. Very, very young East Carter team. Yeah, you're right. This team's going to be they're going to be good down the road. The next few years will be tough to deal with. Not a senior on the squad. And there was a foul on, I believe, number two, Carly Rutledge. I think that's what yep, the young one. Yep. McCormick brings it in for the Musketeers underneath their own basket. Out to Schaefer. Schaefer. Got to let that go. There's Spencer. Out to Crum. Ah, mm -hmm. keep wanting these shots to be shot. <laughs> Here's Crum again. Good try oh. to pass underneath to McCormick. Man, good. just about had that one. Yeah, good vision by Dar Crum there. The East Carter just knocked it away. 44-28, East Carter on top. McCormick inbounds the ball to Crum, puts it up off the glass. Good. Nice job. Good execution. Here comes Rutledge for East Carter. Rutledge out top, she goes. There's a long three uh, off the window, no good. We got the Mullins, a uh, foul on McCormick. And that that'll be, be her fifth. Yeah, right. that's, that's it for her. I'm gonna go to the spice rack, get somebody else. Well, she's played a good ball game. Only two points, but she's played, got a, done a lot more than that. Yeah, Shelby McCormick always does a great job for the Musketeers. Out of the game, though, with 6-16 remaining in the game. And it's a 14-point game now, 44-30. East Carter brings their starters back into the game. And we have a foul call 
On offense? Foul, offensive foul call. I was call. thinking it could have been called offense. I, I believe know. I saw him hold up number four, Avery Hall, her third. Good call. 6.15 left, so with a bucket or two here, we can get back within 10, Brian. Hey, it's respectable right now anyway. Crumb ahead to Stiff. Good job, good passing. Stiff puts it down on the ground. Gets it back out to Spencer, right side to Crumb. Crumb got the hot hand right oh. now. Throws it away, though. Trying to find steel. Bishop comes up with it, Freeze Carter. Ahead she goes to Boggs. Boggs drives around, lays it up, no good. Rebound to Schaefer, brings it all the way down to the ground. And then gives it over to Crumb on the right side. Dar Crumb, out top to Schaefer. Schaefer, reluctant to let that fly. Good, good pass though to Smith, oh, in man. and out. Schaefer picks it up, puts it in. 44-32 now, 5.35 left in the game. Hmm. Rutledge running the point right now. She's just gonna take it straight to the hole, miss it. Rebound to Schaefer. And here comes Katie Schaefer with a chance to cut this lead to 10. Seven rebounds for Schaefer. Now top crumb for three. No good. Rebound to Steele. Good job by Maddie Steele. Athletic rebound. Hanging on to it. She gets fouled underneath the basket. All right. Good job, Maddie. Greenham County catcher. Not sure which player that the referee caught that time. It was either Adams or Rutledge. Here we go. Crumb with the ball after Spencer had her open for three. She tries the three. Misses again. Just didn't get quite set. Yeah, on that yeah, one. right. Yep. Didn't look comfortable when she shot it. 5.07 left in this game. Greenup County trailing by 12, 44-32. Here's Savannah Adams for East Carter over the timeline. Looks right, goes left. Gives it off to Abby Boggs. I think Fisher. you wouldn't be in a hurry here. You're right, Brian. Good drive by Rutledge, and she just gets the foul call on Dar Crumb. Dar's first foul of the game. Dar throws her hands in the air. Wondering what she did there. Rutledge is just an aggressive driver. Lots of times uh, sure is. in girls basketball particularly, you get those calls. And she puts the first free throw in. Continues her hot hand. This is the second. 45-32. Here's Katie Schaefer bringing the ball up the floor for Greenup. She gives it to Kennedy Spencer. Spencer on the dribble, way out top. Gives it to Schaefer. Schaefer to Stiff. Stiff wheeling around, gives it to Crum, out top to Spencer. There's going to be a high low screen right here. Looking for a backdoor cut. Spencer being harassed out front there. Uh, Schaefer comes up with it, down to Steele. Good pass. Steele puts it up, no good. Mm. Rebound down to Rutledge, and it's going to be a foul, I believe, on Rutledge. Hmm. Nope, we've got number four with a foul. Oh. That's Avery Hall, her fourth. Spencer inbounding the ball for Greenup under their own rim. Gets it to Crum. Mm. Ooh, thought she was going to pull the trigger. Oh, I did too. Out top to Spencer to Schaefer. Schaefer has Crum there. Finds her. Crum for three. No good. In and out. Steele, good rebound by Maddie Steele. Throws it up and over everything. Crum comes up with it. Gets it to Schaefer. Schaefer drives. Looking. Gets it to Spencer. Spencer. Throws up a shot that gets blocked, and the ball's been thrown around everywhere now. We got the scrum for it. We got a what? foul call on the ground. On five? Don't see that very often. Oh, it'll be on us. I'm not sure. It's on number five. Not sure which team, though. Yeah, it's on Stith. I know what. No, they're going to give us the ball, so they're saying the foul was on Abby Boggs. Well, no. Now the referees are going to. Oh, wait a second. That's the fifth foul. So it's two free throws from here on out for Greenup County. Oh, that's right. So Bella Stiff goes to the line. First trip to the line for the Musketeers in this half. Only the third trip to the line for Greenup County for the game. Yeah, that says something right there. And she puts it in. Second free throw is no good. 45-33. The lead remains at 12. Here's Rutledge. She likes to drive to the... Basket, got to Avery Hall for three, no good. Rebound, tipped around and Crum comes up with it, almost threw it away, but Spencer comes out of there with it. Here comes Spencer up the near side, need to get the shots up, girls. Stiff to Spencer, cross court go. to Crum. Crum drives to the basket, goes up, misses. Rebound to Crum. Crum, uh, she's, she's 
caught under there. She just threw it yeah. up, and Stiff came up with it, and out to Spencer, over to Crum again. Try it again. If not, if at first you don't succeed, try, try there again. Go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what effort, man. Wow. Dar Crum, about four opportunities down there, finally gets fouled on the third or fourth one. <laughs> man. Two free throws at the line. First one's good. He's really having a quietly good game, Brian. Sure he is. Double From figures. Second free throw is good. Nice. 45-35. The lead is now 10. 318 left in this one. Savannah Adams out top for the Raiders. And we have a foul Blue, call. Blue screen. That's Blue. on number four, and that's her fifth. Uh, Avery Hall, who in this quarter has had three fouls called off the ball. Right, yep. That one was easy to see. Hall goes to the bench, and Scarlett Williams comes in for Avery Hall. Hall, a sophomore. Scarlett Williams is a junior. As long as you're set on those screens, they're not going to, they're not going to call you for a, for a foul. But if you move, you're moving when you set that screen, you're going to get called every time. Hey, we come down and get a big three here, Brian. Things will get interesting. That's right. Crumb three right here, or a stiff three. There's Schaefer out top, looking for Crumb on the back cut. It's not timing that exactly right. Oh, oh Spencer what a throws it away at a back to back turnovers. We'll take it. Yep, it, yep it's going to go to uh, Greenup County. Yep. So, still Greenup's ball, 45 35 is the score. Another opportunity to get this down to single digits. Schaefer gets it to steal, goes up strong, lays it in, and one. Good job by Matty Steele. Making this game 45-37. Boy, if she could refine her game, she could be really something special. She is a player with a lot of uh, athletic potential. Yep. Steele at the line. That's the free throw up and in. Three points old fashioned way, Maddie. Good girl. 45-38. Things have gotten interesting here in the greenhouse. 2.52 left in the ball game. Savannah Adams out front. Stiff guarding her. Adams on the right side. Points up her dribble. Stiff all over. Timeout, it's a full timeout by Matthew Clark. He's seen enough. East Carter leads this one 45-38 with 2.44 left. We'll be, we'll be right back here on My Town TV. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers. And this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Welcome back uh, to My Town TV's presentation of Greenup County Musketeer Girls Basketball. And uh, what was a 22 point lead, 41 19, uh, a few moments ago, it seems like Brian. Now it's a 45 38 game. How about that? I mean, that's probably the best spurt of Greenup County Girls Ball we've seen all season. They've, they've played really well. And loving that timeout was called right there. Watching them, watching them girls go to the sideline with that pep in their step. They were running, running over the bench. I love it. They're fired up right now. He's Carter with the basketball. The seven-point lead, 244 left in this one. Adams out top being guarded by Stiff. Adams moving the ball to the far side. East is going to try to hold onto the ball now, I think, a little bit. Yeah, Savannah yeah. Adams doing a little dribbling out front. Eats some time off the clock. Is it to Rutledge, to Bishop, to Adams. Good chance to work on this for Coach Clark. Greenup County has to apply pressure. Adams thought about it, but she let it go there. And a steal by Dar Crum. How about it that? It's to Schaefer. Schaefer trapped in the corner. Got to get it out of there to Crum. Crum up the floor to there Stiff. Good Here come the Musketeers. Stiff to Spencer right behind her. Spencer's open out there. She step into that three and take it, Kennedy. She does. She misses this one, though. Rebound down to Rutledge. Powerful rebound from Kinsley Rutledge and throws Ooh. it almost out of bounds. But Abby Boggs retreats. Right. And, and oh, that was close right there. And here's Savannah Adams out top. Gives it to Bishop. 
Bishop moving to the right side to Rutledge. Front of the wheel out front to Adams. Dribbles all the way to the right side. Good pass underneath Boggs. Runs right into Steele and puts it in. Good play by Abby Boggs. That is their drought right there. It's a big bucket. 47-38. Here comes Spencer. Finds Stith for three. Oh. Air ball. It goes out of bounds. Foul's going to be called. That foul's going to go against Daria Crum for a second. Carly Rutledge checks into the game for East Carter. For Scarlett Williams. Here's Kinsley Rutledge. As they go up the floor to Boggs. To Carly Rutledge. To Kinsley Rutledge. Out to Adams. Top of the key. 110 left in this one now. Adams, good look away, and she draws the foul from Katie mm. Schaefer. Just tried that little fake pass, Paskaruski right there. Paskaruski, I like that. Uh, Schaefer didn't buy it. This wasn't quite set. It kind of hit her at an odd angle, too. Adams goes to the line. The first free throw is in and out. So the lead remains at nine, still under 10 for the moment. Savannah Adams, good shooter at the line, puts the second one right through. 48-38, 10-point lead. Got to get it down here and get some shots up quick. Dar Crum from the right side drives to the hole, lays it up, looking for the foul uh, call, I think, there. Didn't get yep. it. And here comes East Carter with the ball. Rutledge over to Adams, and they're going to hold the ball now. 51 seconds and a 10-point lead. Adams over to Boggs, back to Adams. East Carter may be content just to dribble this one out. Yeah, how big was that timeout? And Schaefer came over and committed the foul here, her fourth. Be shooting two, I think, after this one here now. And County going to clear out the bench here, bring Langley, Haley Hall, Lexi Bays, and Addie Branham into the game. It's uh, Savannah Adams goes to the line again. She's a 62% free throw shooter on the year. She misses that one. 36.9 seconds left in this one from the greenhouse. It's funny how you can shoot the three like that. Adams has two threes tonight, and then, you know, you can't make free throws. That's funny. You see that a lot, it seems like. Should be the same form. Second one's missed as well. Still a 10-point game. Steele rebounds to Langley. Reading this play in this one out now. No urgency at all. A 10-point deficit. Uh, let the girls who haven't gotten in get some play. They throw the ball away. And East Carter calls a timeout, a 30-second timeout, just to save the possession as they had stolen it. Hmm. We'll stay right here. 23 seconds left. Great effort. These girls didn't give up. They didn't give up. You like to see the effort that this uh, Greenup County team gave here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on that going forward. That's right. You know, hopefully, you know, they can't let a you know, team get too far ahead of them like they did in the you know, second quarter right there. East Carter expanded that lead, had a good lead at half, and then, you know, you're, you're, you've got too big a hill to climb right there. And they, they, they were able to climb almost up there to the top of it, to the summit, but they not quite enough oxygen to get to the top. But I'm proud of them. They played. That, that's that's the best we've seen them look in a while. They sure were really is. good that last quarter. Yes. Here we go. East Carter going to inbound the basketball in the back court. They've uh, put their younger girls back in the game. Uh, get it ahead to Mullins on the dribble against Steele. Mullins in the corner. Picks it up. Hands the ball Ooh. off, and we have a oh, oh, step on the sideline, I believe. Greenup County's ball, 16 seconds. Musketeers will bring it up and probably what's their last possession of the game. 48-38, East Carter leads. Langley out top. Moving it to the left side. Let's see her score. Yep. She gives it to Bays. Bays drives, gives it to Haley Hall. She'll throw up the three. No good. Rebound almost down to Addie Brennan. But secured by Allison Felty at the final horn. Our final score here tonight from Greenup County, East Carter 48, Greenup County 38. We'll be right back on the SOMC postgame show on My Town TV. 
better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Alex Jewelers, in this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. We're back here at Greenup County High School on My Town TV where the East Carter Lady Raiders have defeated the Greenup County Lady Musketeers by a score of 48 to 38 what turned out to be a closer game in the end than we expected. Yeah, it's fun, you know, because you know, it, for, even for us it makes, a lot, it makes the games a lot more funner and of course for the viewer too when you, when you see a team like Greenup County that's, that's had trouble scoring all year come back and, and make this into a game there late in the fourth quarter. They, you know, they held East Carter, believe it or not, only four points in the fourth quarter. They outscored them 13 to 4. So Greenham County, I mean, well, if they could play like that all season long, you know, like they did in the second half tonight, who knows? They could they could beat some more teams. I'm telling you, they, they looked really good there. Yeah, hopefully Greenham can take this and build on it. Uh, mm -hmm. They dropped to 2 and 6. East Carter goes to 5 and 2. And things are really uh, looking up for East Carter as they, uh, you know, they have some good young talent and they're headed in the right direction under head coach Matthew Clark, it looks yeah. like to me. Yeah, that's just it. They're young and, and you know, Coach Clark's going to get them girls better and better as the season goes on. Um, you know, nothing, nothing like having good, good youth on your team. You know, those young legs can get him down the court, and he's he's got a bright future ahead, really bright future. He, 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 hey, that's a good team out there right now. Come yeah. off the Morgan County win, as you mentioned, and then coming in here and getting the win on the road again to Graham County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're playing good basketball right now. Yeah, it's definitely a team that can compete for their district, the uh, 62nd district that they play in mm -hmm. uh, with West Carter and Elliott County as well. Uh, the scoring tonight for East Carter, Kensley Rutledge led the way with 13 points. Uh, Abby Boggs had 11. Savannah Adams and Avery Hall have them with seven apiece. Four apiece for Cadence Roberts and uh, Tori Bishop. And ahead Allison Felty with three. For Greenup County, the leading scorer was Daria Crum, who we said throughout the game uh, looked like she got better and better as the game went on. And yep. uh, she had a really good game. Right, yeah, she's she's really impressed me the, you know, the last two games we've got to see her play. Um, I don't remember much from the first game, but the last two games she's looked really good. She's She's playing good basketball. She has a great form. Uh, she's got a good handle on the ball. She's got a good basketball IQ. Um, she's athletic, and that, that, uh, that means everything, especially at this level. It does, yeah. Bella Stiff had nine. Uh, Katie Schaefer came up with eight second half points. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, she came out of nowhere. And I want to give a quick shout-out to McCormick, how good she played second half. Yeah, no doubt about it. Shelby McCormick had a really good game, fouling out with six minutes to go in the game. But had, uh, had uh, you know all sorts of rebounds, hustle yeah. plays, tied up balls, lots of jump balls she created underneath the basket and uh, scored two points on the night herself. Yep. Three points for uh, Maddie Steele, who had a big and one moment yeah. there late in the game yeah. to cut the lead down to seven. You know, I like that Graham County was able to mesh in some players late in the, late in the game and still keep that rally going. Yeah, and Addie Branham, she had four points on the night and, uh, as we said in the first half, had a really nice post move. So there's some things to build on. That's for right, Graham exactly, County. exactly. Like you mentioned, there's things to build on. There's a lot, a lot of positive to take out of this game. Um, the, the one thing, if you're a coach, you look at is your team's demeanor. 
you know, the way their attitude on the court. And, and I loved it. That last time out, he's caught her call there when, you know, Green, we cut it to eight or whatever. And they, the Green County girls, they, they ran off the court. They were fired up. They were ready to play. And I love seeing that. I mean, they the love of the game for these kids. I mean, these, these girls are trying hard. They're going to get better and better as the season goes on. We just got to stay with them, support them, get behind them, and, and go on to the next game. So, thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, for Josh Pack and uh, Marcus Reed on the camera. Uh, Brian, uh, Barber on color, and uh, I'm Brian Parker. We'll be, uh, we'll be back on the air in about an hour and a half uh, from now. Uh, scheduled to be 7.30, but this JV game is not going to start for about 15 more minutes, so it'll probably be closer to 7.45 by the time we get on the air later on for the boys game, Greenham County Musketeers and Rock Hill Redmond. So thank you for joining us, and uh, good evening, everyone. It's tailgate time in the bluegrass. Uncle, Uncle Rick, Rick, what are you doing? doing? I'm getting ready to make my announcing debut. And I believe that's football time in the bluegrass. But you can believe this. Clark's has everything you need for a winning tailgate. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Stand under the mistletoe. Put presents under the tree. But if you drive under the influence, you could end up under arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. I felt like I didn't matter at my past job and Regroup helps me to feel like I am important and that I have meaning and purpose. If you really want to feel like you are important um, and feel like you want a home, um, some place that you can talk to anybody about anything, I think Regroup is the place for you to work. Like we're a team and we're a family and I feel just like I'm welcomed here and I'm loved here and I feel like I matter here.